And I really had no value for joy for most of my Christian life. It just, you know, it seemed like one of those optional fruits of the Spirit that, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> I could see the purpose behind most of the other fruits of the Spirit, but joy was kind of like, well, isn't that nice, you know? But there's way too much, you know, sorrow in the world, and I'm an intercessor, and I'm carrying <laughs> this stuff. And so I just didn't value it. And one of the things I discovered is that you won't make time for what you don't value. If you're trying to do something that you don't value, you're gonna continually sabotage yourself. And if you really believe that the joy of the Lord is your strength, you might make time for some joy. If you're waiting to get through your problem before you have joy, because that's what I thought I would do, you know, as soon as I'm through this mess, I will have time for joy. And then God said, well, where are you planning on getting your strength to get through that mess? Joy is, is so crucial for health, for strength. It's just, you know, we just began to value it really, really highly. In fact, when he, God was speaking to us about joy, he, I, I didn't do a lot of laughing on the outside. I just, you know, I was kind of an internal processor, so I would laugh <laughs> on the inside. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> and uh, one day God said, there's no health benefits to laughing on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> and then I tried to tell him, but you know, I really like to be authentic, and when I try to laugh out loud, it sounds fake, and you know, all of that, and because it would come out, ha, ha, ha. It just didn't sound right. <laughs> and finally he goes, you know, Wendy, it's not fake, it's rusty. <laughs> Everybody has the ability to laugh given to them at birth. And when it's rusty, it sounds fake. You know, how many of you go to the gym and you haven't been there in years and you try to lift up 300 pounds and go, oh, this feels so fake. <laughs> no, you just know, I have to work this muscle a little. And so when you begin to value joy, you don't care what everybody else is thinking about you laughing out loud. Just tell them, I'm just learning. <laughs> you know. <laughs> But we have to restore it. And God actually, wow. in my devotions for, I don't know, it could have been a year, after I would read the Bible and pray, he would say, now go online and read some jokes and laugh out loud. Because he wanted me to get used to laughing again. And it did give me strength for the other things I needed to do. But it, like I said, if you don't value it, you won't make time for it, and you'll wonder, why? Why can't I get through this? He gave you a muscle called laughter. <laughs>